Hey guys, it's Dyson here. We're back with more Spelunky. And after the absolute hideous performance of yesterday, I, I need to give you guys something good. So you all don't hate me and unsubscribe. We're giving, um, Green Ninja Guy a uh, second go. I feel like my performance yesterday was a bit more my fault than his. It was like about 60-40 with me on the 60. So we're just gonna give it another shot. See what we can do. And hope like hell we don't just immediately fail. <laughs> um, I need to at least make it out of the mines. Like, I can't have redemption without making it out of the mines. That's kind of a given. And that is a great way to start it. Uh, that is a pro tactic called a good luck rock in the head throw. Not many people do that. Um, it's an old school Splunky tactic. That is a even better tactic there called run into a damn snake. <laughs> So that was a terrible floor. We lost two health. We got some extra ropes. We got almost no money. Yeah. I don't even... I don't even know what to say about that. I'm honestly kind of hoping I don't find a jetpack in this shop. Because I have a curse with jetpacks. Where if I get a jetpack, I'm not going to make it out of the uh, uh, jungle. I always call the jungle the forest. I wonder if that's a Freudian thing. I wonder if it's because like I hate my mother or something. I don't know. Um, we'll buy the spike shoes. We'll buy the climbing gloves. We're not going to piss off shopkeepers yet. We're d we are going to run directly into that snake. And apparently that skeleton. So, let's just say we're not off to a great start. <laughs> I feel like there's probably people at home just absolutely cringing at this point. It's like, oh, come on, I see. Another video this terrible. What are you doing to us? Well... Stick around, guys, because things are about to get amazing. That was my desperate attempt to have you guys actually stick around. Uh, if you decided not to stick around, I wouldn't blame you. I'm going to have to burn two bombs here. I really think it's worth it because I desperately need this help. Um, because of my bad bombing, I have to burn two bombs and a rope. So, moving up in the world. Okay, so we're just going to leave. New Ujet Eye on that floor. Let's hope for uh, better days ahead. We're down to one bomb, and five ropes, and two health. So not great. I almost jumped. I almost jumped upward. And uh, immediately killed myself. So let's uh, have no more of that. I'm glad I have the spike shoes. Take care of these Batman. Do I want to check over on the other side? Actually, yeah, the Ujet Eye is getting dangerously... We have dangerously few places for the Ujedi to spawn now, so we definitely need to double check. Um, we're back up to four bombs. Almost jumped on that arrow trap. That would have straight killed me. But we're picking up speed. I think. Yep, Ujedi is in this level. That was a real bad bomb. Okay. At least we can easily take him out. It's going to cost us two bombs because we're bad. But that's okay. Uh, yeah, I want that maiden, but I really can't afford the bombs, especially not before I know where my key is. Okay, it's not over there, so we're not going to screw around with those. Uh, here's our key. Best way to get through... I think either of these are going to take two bombs, so we'll just go through it now. Real glad I didn't go for that maiden, or I would have been screwed on this key. So, hey! At least we're making better decisions. Like, we're still not in a good position, but we are making, like, more technically intelligent decisions. No shop on this floor, which is probably good, because I'd probably be very, very tempted to steal from it <laughs> with our zero bomb situation. Okay, so now it's incredibly important we get up another another bomb or two. Um, I want that cape. You know, we're going to go for broke. We are going to kill shopkeepers at some point. So let's go ahead and get that pitcher's mitt. I really like the pitcher's mitt. I've started to kind of be in love with it. So we might as well just go ahead and grab it. I'd love, absolutely love to be able to grab that crate. But it doesn't look like that's going to be a possibility. Because no bombs. I need bombs desperately. Uh, let's go ahead and take a peek over here. Just see what we got. I should really save her for the health. But if I can get a Kapala, it'll be worth it. 
So we're going to take the risk on that one. Bombs? Yes! The black market is still within a possibility. This double ruby, like if I wasn't so bad on bombs, I would definitely be going for it. For now, we're just going to head on out. We're at two life, three bombs, six ropes, and we are on the jungle. So, mm, success is feeling pretty good. And that's a black market immediately. Uh, where is it? Let's see if we can ferret it out with our powerful Splunky Nose Sense. Um, it definitely wasn't up on that floor, so we are comfortable to go down. Ooh, I don't like going down here. We should still actually be able to get up there pretty easily. Should we need to? It's gonna cost us like a rope or two. But that's not too bad. Uh, what do we have over here? We have roulette for a shotgun. I want this man to die. We'll actually go ahead and play this real quick. So if I can get a shotgun, it's going to make uh, the black market a lot easier. We got big money. You know what? I think that'll let us be able to afford a shotgun or at least some kind of weapon on the black market. I really didn't need a rope there. That was dumb. Kill this man. Okay, black market is close. Where is it? Obviously, I greatly want this uh, maiden here. Where is this black market? Is it up here? I feel like it has to be. We're just gonna bomb through. We don't have many bombs left. I'm real glad I didn't get hit by that skeleton, man. Is it blinking more on this side? Yep, yeah it is. That was a bad bomb. Okay, cool. So, one bomb left. And we have found the black market. We're gonna drop this here. Grab our maiden. Say a little prayer of thanks to Zeus or whichever celestial being was watching out for us. And on to the black market. We've got 20,000, so obviously shopkeepers must die. But if we can make it out of this black market alive, I mean, we're doing all right. Let's just take a peek through and see what we got for sale. Top floor is a bunch of shenanigans that I have no interest in. Okay, that man's dealt with. This is probably where we can start our rampage, though. Let's put this down. What we got on the bottom floor? There's like a bomb box. Oh my god, I'm so close. I'm so close to having the money required. Let's see if we can find some more money in this floor real quick. There we go. I just did that. I just... I just bought the wrong thing because I'm scum. I can't believe I just did that. I just... That may have just screwed me. Give me... A, oh, yeah. Ruby. This is going to piss off the shopkeepers. I need to go get that shotgun ASAP. Because he's going to eat that maiden. I almost walked out without buying it. Oh. He just killed it. Killed my hard help. Didn't mean for that to happen. <coughs> and I put myself in a real bad situation here. <coughs> oh, and there it goes. <coughs> okay. I think we're breaking the curse, though. We got to the black market. It was a real bad run, but I did get to the black market. So we're doing a little better than normal, or we have been lately. Let's sit down, buckle our belts, and go for a real run this time. Ah, if I had just shot, that would have been golden. But instead, I jumped back up out of fear. I'm getting a lot of crates right off. That's nice. Machete. Bombs. You know, with those extra bombs, we will go ahead and bomb through here. Let's grab that machete. Always nice to have a bit of extra money early in the game. Kill that snake. And we didn't do that classic uh, move this time. I It's a... Low percentage strategy, the immediately throw a rock in your own head move. I just feel it's unfair to really try that strategy more than once in a video. Okay, that's taken care of, taken care of. We gotta watch out for this bat. He's gonna be angry. Okay. 
pot cleared. Everyone can sleep safe. There's nothing in that pot. Um, let's see. Eh, the Matic is... Matic. The uh, machete is at least nice for clearing spider webs. I have to give it credit for that. Other than that, it's piss poor. But I mean, it does let you guys ever so slightly faster through spider web infested areas. So, I guess technically better than a rope. Or a uh, whip. I really feel like the machete needed some kind of upgrade. Like, even if it was as simple as if there's an enemy in a pot that you hit with a machete, it kills it. It would have been a huge... Like, it would have been a good item. Now it's just like, um... I guess I can throw it in front of arrow traps? Okay, so that was a good floor. We got uh, more bombs, more ropes. A lot more ropes, actually. Decent amount of money. We're sitting at actually a hell of a lot of money. 24,000. That is nothing to, to cough at. I don't really think that's the phrase, but I said it anyway. And this is where we leave our machete. If I could get a sacrifice off of this floor, I would be a happy, happy man. Um, I feel like there's not going to be an opportunity for that. And I do think we are going to go ahead and buy... Ooh, no. I was going to say we're going to go ahead and buy those, but then I saw that the Ujet Eye is behind him. So we'll just go ahead and kill him. We'll go back to, get back to our old tricks. This has served us well in the past. I just put a bomb on him. Nice. Also, I didn't have sticky bombs. GG. I do have... Completely, like... We are getting a lot of crates on this run, which is fantastic. Perhaps a jetpack and a plasma cannon? I've gotten a plasma cannon in a crate once, and I didn't know what it did, and killed myself with it. So, having an opportunity to get one in a crate, now that I understand it, would be really cool. Go ahead and get that out of there. What we got down here? We got a dog that don't know his place. Okay, let's go ahead and check over here first. No chest, but... More gold. Got a gem rolled. A couple hundred gold sitting around. I feel like these are like the worst maintained caves ever. Like, why is there literally just gold laying about? Okay, cool. So we can just put one bomb down here and we'll get our chest. Bring our dog to the exit first. There you go, buddy. As soon as you get up, I'll toss my bomb. Go get our key. Feeling pretty good on this one. Got some really good equipment already. I've got climbing gloves, spring shoes, and those co that combination is phenomenal. Um, spike shoes, which are nice, and um, pitcher's mitt, which I really, really like. Like I, I was always like very on the edge about the pitcher's mitt, but now I'm just like. It just makes your bombs so much, so much more predictable, especially if you have paste. That I consider it like a huge get for me now. So, let's see. We got this man, which should be pretty easy to kill him. There we are. And now we got that pitcher's mitt pace situation I was talking about. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop a bomb there. How did that snake live? And we got glasses. I'm not going to complain too much about glasses out of a crate. Because uh, if we can get a sacrifice, it means we won't get glasses from that. We're actually running pretty low on things that the uh, sacrifice can give us. We need a compass. And I think if we get the compass... Oh, and a cape. I'm not sure if it, it'll give you the cape. If you, it'll, if, I'm not sure if it'll give you the jetpack if you don't have a cape but have everything else. I think you have to have a cape before it'll give you a jetpack, though. So, yeah. Uh, I totally forgot that I have a shopkeeper down here. There's a slight issue. A slight crimp in my plan. Just completely forgot that I've already pissed them off. Ooh, that was a bad bomb. He killed that, uh... Maybe? Maybe? Nice! I did not actually expect that to work. I'm real glad it did. Um, Might as well check over here. See if there's any extra gold or anything hiding about. Uh, there's an extra 500. I 
guess worth it? Like, I mean, in all technicality, yeah. More gold, and here we go. We are down to two bombs, which isn't great. If I hadn't to drop my shotgun down there, I would have just dropped the maiden and then um, jumped down myself with, and just left without killing him. But, yeah. That is neither here nor there, nor anywhere, really. That was real close. I thought that snake was going to get me. Now, this shopkeeper is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to uh, deal with. Ow, he just punched me. I think we're going to just do the old switcheroo, see if we can get him out of there. Toss some shots this way. Okay, he took a little damage, which is good. We'll see if we can just deal with him later. We got ourselves a compass, which is nice. I'm real low on bombs, which is not nice. Okay, he has continued hurting himself. Let's see if they'll shoot each other. That would be... Now, here's the question. Do we risk our very last bomb on this crate? I say yes. He... Uh, I should not have. I regret the decision immensely. If I could, I would take it all back. And we got shot in the face. So, um, yeah, we're doing some terrible Splunky runs. I have to apologize once again. At least we got out. I feel like our, our bad luck streak is about to end. I want to thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a fantastic day.